Hey guys, this is Mom's Karuka here today. I am bringing you a demolition on mission. And I'm sorry for uh, not posting as well. I'll explain that. And if my voice is a little different, it's because I'm recording off a of Black Ops mic. So, I mean, yeah, whatever. Um, so, um, today we're going to talk about uh, three subjects. We're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to talk about views and my subs. Uh, no, no, I'm not, not views. Well, yeah. That's... Uh, that okay, we're gonna talk with that and uh, some uh, guides that I'm making and uh, all nighters. So let's get started here. I'm just before I get all the inf important information out is uh, that uh, I've hit a hundred thousand subscribers, and I thank you guys very much for that. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here as uh, you know with these uh, these subscribers um, as great as you guys. Um, so I really thank all you guys for that. Um, and another thing is that. Uh, my the re here I'm gonna, here I'm gonna explain why uh, I uh, I'm uploading a little lower now is because I've noticed that ever since I've uploaded every other day as I'm getting more views because I think all my video all my subscribers aren't seeing aren't getting enough time to view all my videos so they just give up because you know they can't keep track of them so what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload one then skip a day and then upload one skip a day I hope that doesn't hurt anybody's feelings and I hope it doesn't bother you. But uh, I'm sure some of you guys understand that it's, um, I want, you know, you want to see, you want your audience to see everything that you put up, not just to have them ignore it because they can't catch up. So, yeah, um, so let's talk about our next topic, which is all-nighters. And why would you bring this up? Well, because on uh, Saturday night we had, a, me and my friends had a, uh, not a hangover, <laughs> I don't drink, sorry. We had a, uh, we had a uh, all-nighter, well, my friend and I, or uh, anything, I don't know. But um, I'll explain the story here. So I was a day before that Friday night. Um, I went over to his house. You know, we had a fun time. No, not that way. But uh, we just um, we just hung out, hung out and stuff. And I had to go. I went to my back to my house at 11. So now it's Saturday morning. I woke up at 11. I mean 10, which is a freaking <laughs> that's a world record for me because when it comes to uh, weekends, I never wake up that time because I'm usually up until 2 o'clock. But um, it's, I don't know, but, uh, I got up and went over to this house round two, and we went outside. Whoa, surprise, surprise. No, I'm just kidding, it's not a surprise. But, uh, we went outside, and, uh, we, at around four o'clock, and we just brought, uh, we, you know, we played with some airsoft rifles like the L96A1, shotguns, and so much more. Um, we had some fun. My friend, uh, Hunter... Well, the one I was uh, spent the night with was uh, Tanner, but uh, my friend Hunter, uh, he uh, he kind of chickened out there because oh, uh, my hands are freezing. When it was only like what 45 degrees out with 30 degree uh, wind chill, which isn't that cold in my opinion. I'm li I'm used to listening. I'm used to living in uh, bipolar weather, so you're gonna hear that a lot from me. But uh, he he left around six o'clock, and we were. I mean, he left at six, and I was—we were out there until eight. So we were out there, and my when we got home to uh, Tanner's house, my hands were cold, but I didn't complain. I actually liked the cold, and that's how the story goes. Um, Ten o'clock, and I was up. We were up all night playing uh, Modern Warfare Three for uh, Modern Warfare Three and Modern Warfare Two. Which, speaking of that, I do have another uh, Modern Warfare. I have a Modern Warfare Two gameplay out that I can poop out on my uh, on my videos. That if you guys want to see that, and this is a nice kill feed about I guess but whatever um a nice uh we got a nice uh it's not really the best mark for two gameplays he's me using m14 EBR which is like a good sniping thing for a uh, silence silent sniping and that's what I used um so speaking of that my subs also uh, I increased in th uh, three five subs today I'm not sure if that was because of the ps3 gameplay or whatever but if you guys do want to see ps3 gameplay then just tell me and I record more when I'm at my friend's house. I did not switch to PS3 because there's lots of people saying that I don't. So I'm not going to switch to PS3 for some reasons, which I will tell you in a couple minutes. Um, so uh, another topic we're going to talk about, which I really, sorry, I moved my mic there, by the way. Um, is uh, let's see here, just uh, let's talk about bullying now. Yeah, I know. Nothing I've I, I'm not really talked about this. I've talked about this a teeny bit in my commentaries, but I'm actually going to talk about it because it's a major thing that happens in the U.S. Um, I'm not sure about different countries, 
but it's really it's more in the U.S. because we have a, there's more diverse you know it's more diverse more diversity than any, in my opinion I think more diverse than any other country in the world because it's a melting pot a multi a melting pot as in any race there's more races more div device diverse in race and uh, ethnic group um, so uh, for bullying um, I have been a victim of it and I have done it before I'm gonna be honest. I'm being honest, guys. I'm sure everybody's bullied one person and not realized it, not realized it, um, in their lifetime. So, uh, I was bullied in sixth grade, and, um, I am right now. I'm still, I'm cyber bully people. I don't do it, but people do it to me, but I'm not going to cough any names, but, oh, maybe I should, flux silent, but anyways, anyways, um, uh, people just bully people, and it's really, you know, my opinion, uh, okay, I'm going to explain the story here. In sixth grade, um, we were, uh, uh, what we, sixth grade, I had a high voice, but you know, that's normal for every sixth grader. Um, but then, uh, there was this, uh, 15 year old, uh, in sixth grade. I'm not kidding you, I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling the truth. You're 15 year old in sixth grade, and I think he was a juvenile delinquent, delinquent, but, um, he was just, uh, he, I felt sorry for him, but he just cursed in every freaking sentence. And, you know, I don't curse that much on in real life and in games and my YouTube videos I will seldomly curse and sometimes I will some spat the f-bomb or something like that but um there's just no freaking point in cursing some in cursing I mean it doesn't make you cool literally it does not make you look cool okay if you can curse online this is you know you're you you're trying to put more of a threat on people online which is really honestly I don't care but I mean that's silly but if you're you know in person it I, I'm gonna look at bullying in a per in a in a uh, in a perspective here. Um, when in person though, it's more stronger than cyberbullying. Okay, I mean when I was in sixth grade, um, this happened to me and it isn't pleasant. And by the way, guys, I do lose this game, but I did end up with a, a good score. So you know that's how it proves that I play with lots of guys that like to use them. You know, like to run around uh, and kill whore, which you know is killing a lot of people but anyways but it's just you know I was in sixth grade and he 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 just he had problems he picked on people when his life at home was more terrible than you know he treats people others that's you know for all you guys that do get bullied or have been a victim of it the reason people are bullying you is because their life is more is is bad and they put it on you or they're just jealous and they want to pick on you but you know the best thing to do is I mean in elementary school all they said was to walk away. And, you know obviously people know that doesn't work. But if if it gets issued to the point where you're thinking about killing yourself, which I I it happened to me, I almost killed. I didn't kill myself. I didn't commit murder or try. I mean commit suicide or try to. It's just it got to the point. I was like, should I or should I not? But it will. And I had to go to a psychiatrist for that. Like earlier though, it was before this was like in fourth grade when it actually started happening. But um. I mean, if you have to bully somebody, that proves that you're a big puss. And I'm going to use that word. It proves you are a big puss and you can't handle anything. I mean, you're just... If you have to bully somebody, that's just sad. Okay? That's plain out sad. Now, I have bullied somebody and I actually haven't known about it. Known about it Because when I was in sixth grade, um, he was my friend and I, you know, I called him a funny... And this, you know, joking around. At the end, I, it took it wrong, he took it in the wrong way. And I got called in the counseling center. Well, apparently he took it in an offensive way. And I was like, oh, I didn't mean to, man. I didn't understand you're taking it that way. And, uh, you know, st stuff like that happens. But if it's to the point where people are picking on you and intentionally just cursing and throwing out F-bombs just to do something, uh, then it's, it's something serious, okay? Something serious that is, uh, that, um, you know, needs to be taken care of. Uh, but if if you're getting bullied just you know walk away or you know inform an adult because you know it's some serious trash it's some serious crap man it's it's pointless why I say serious trash is because it shouldn't be happening um and uh you know you know if there's people online doing it so you know you can either use the mute button or just to uh, report them somehow I don't know how but um it's it's just pointless so uh I mean I really hate it. The, the reason I want to talk about this is because we do have this uh, program in our school. It's called Second Step. It, you know, it helps people. You know, it, you know, avoid bullying and, uh, you know, it actually shows people, 
Yeah, some of my classmates are probably viewing this like, wow, it's, you're gay for showing and saying about this, but it's serious, dude. It's serious. I mean, it's serious stuff. If, pe I mean, that's a serious program. I mean, I take it seriously. Sometimes they laugh at it because there's some simply stupid things that make you like, oh, group work. Write some stuff down about groups that you like and dislike. like, okay, that's, you know, it's just stupid. But, you know, it's, it's a serious thing to talk about. And it's a serious thing that if you're bullying somebody, if you're talking trash to them or whatever, you realize that you could be hurting them more than you think. So, for all you guys that do uh, trash talk a lot, um, I do trash talk a lot online, but not really that much. But, you know, if I do, I, I know when I'm getting to somebody and I do, you know, mute them if I start getting pissed off. But, anyways, guys, this gameplay is coming to an end. Um, and my final score is like 26, but I can't really help my team not winning. Um, I really hope you guys hope you enjoyed this uh you know this um this commentary i mean it means a lot to me too and it means a lot to other people because you know bullying is a serious thing and you know whatever so thanks for watching guys and i really guys hope you enjoyed this see you guys later and uh look on wednesday for my new video see ya